Oh, hey there YouTube, I didn't see you there. Oh wait, yes I did! I'm gonna cut right down to the chase. This video is gonna be about cliches, particularly when it comes to the genre of Let's Plays on YouTube. Now, if you don't know what a Let's Play is, it's essentially a video that you sit down for about 10 to 20 minutes to watch another person play a video game. Now you might be thinking, why the heck would I do that? It's kind of like working in an amusement park and you watch other people ride the rides, but you don't actually get to experience the ride. Well, you can keep thinking that because the top subscribed person on YouTube, his name is PewDiePie, he has so many video views that they outnumber the number of viewers on cable television shows. That's crazy. Now, I'm not saying that all Let's Players are boring or, oh, another Let's Play. I'm not thinking that at all, trust me. And I am in no way an expert on when it, when it comes to these things. I am just saying that I've watched a lot of Let's Plays and these are the top 10 things that annoy me that I find as cliches. Number one, spamming advertisements on every freaking video. Now, I'm not saying any advertising is bad. In fact, I encourage you to, to advertise for your channel. And perhaps this is because the YouTube comments are so bad, but constantly I see this happening. <sighs> well, time to advertise for my channel. Hey there, everybody. If you like Call of Duty and Minecraft video Let's Plays, then you should check out my channel. Send. All right, now we just gotta sit back, wait, and the YouTube money will come flowing in. What? Zero video views? How could this be? Maybe I'm just not advertising loud enough. I know, all caps mode. Hey there YouTube, welcome to life. Yeah, it just doesn't work that way. You can't get a subscriber base in one or two days. You have to be patient and wait for it. I've also seen people comment stuff like, my videos are so much better than yours. And then you click on their channel and they have zero videos. It's like, what? Like, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you advertise for yourself if you don't have anything to show? Or if they do have videos, they look like, well, that actually leads me to number two. Bad audio and video. When I started, I used a crappy point and shoot camera and Windows Movie Maker, okay? I get it, we all have to start somewhere. But if your computer is so bad that it's like watching a slideshow of your video game, then it's time to upgrade or at least invest a little money. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna get millions of dollars right away, but you have to invest money if you want to have a subscriber base. Nobody's gonna click on a video that looks something like this. Hello, Minecraft. Um, or I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, YouTube. This is my Minecraft, um, let's play. So, let's just get right into it. Oh, okay. So we're here. Um, so here's my Minecraft world so far. Um, so what we want to look for? Oh, hi cows! <laughs> okay, so what we want to look for is um some some trees. So um oh those are, these are nice. I like those. Okay. Anyway, number three, excessive swearing. Now I get it. When you play an online video game, other people have microphones and they're not always going to use the cleanest of languages. I get it. But if you're the one spewing out f bombs like you're the badass of the century, I've got an update for you. You're not. You kind of sound something like this. Are you guys ready for this? This is my best game ever done. Oh, look at that noob. Oh yeah, calling that UAV. Those didn't see it coming because they with their and their with oh you just got on you other number four. Annoying, obnoxious dubstep intros. Another huge cliche is when I'm watching a Let's Play and the intro sounds something like this. So I'll be sitting in my room with some headphones on. I'll see some Minecraft video or something. I'll click on it and then, well, this happens. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> Number five, cartoon sound effects. Now, I've only seen a couple examples of this, but it still bothers me. Like, why do you feel the need to put cartoon sound effects into a moment in a video game that was already funny to begin with? It just ruins the joke for me. You know, you know what that reminds me of? It's kind of like excess laugh tracks on Disney Channel. It, it's kind of like... Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey, Johnny. Can I borrow your calculator? <laughs> my calculator? Well, how many times have I told you you can't use my calculator? <laughs> how many times? Well, I've lost count. <laughs> Number six, obnoxious faced thumbnails. Now, this doesn't apply to just Let's Players. This applies to all of YouTube, myself included. You upload a thumbnail of a funny face that you make, like... And then people click on that video because they want to see your funny face in that video. I especially like it when YouTubers take one obnoxiously looking picture of themselves and then put it on every single thumbnail after that. Or what's even more clever is when somebody puts in the thumbnail a picture of a girl doing something suggestive and then all of the guys go and click on it because they want to see the girl in that video do something like that. And then the video has nothing to do with the girl in said thumbnail. So it gets downvoted like crazy. Number seven, similar video games. Now this is more of an issue with copyright holders than it is with Let's Players. The fact that Nintendo has lost so much money from the Wii U is why I'm making this point. It's because Nintendo does not let content creators or video makers upload videos of gameplay of their games. They take all of the ad revenue that you ever make if you do upload a video, so there's like no incentive for a YouTuber to ever upload a video of a Nintendo product. That's why you see so many videos of Minecraft, Call of Duty, any Valve game. It's because those companies realize, hey, people watch these videos and they play our games. Hey, let's incent them to upload more videos of them playing our games. That would get us a bigger consumer base and those people watching those videos who have never heard of this game before will now buy our product. So this is more of a copyright issue, but it still bothers me and that's why it's on this list. Number eight, obnoxious or over the top voices. Too many times I see people playing a video game and their reaction to it is so over the top. Like, I get it. You playing a Slender Man game and Slender Man scares you. Now, the normal reaction would be, oh, whoa, oh, oh, wow, he's, whoa, Whew. that scared me a little bit. Wow, I didn't expect him there. Oh, dang it, oh well. But most of the times on YouTube, it ends up being something like, Yeah, when it's that over the top, I just feel like you're putting on an act for us. Number nine, too young. Yeah, if you're under the age of like 12, please don't make Let's Play videos on YouTube. Please wait until you hit puberty and your voice drops like three octaves. What, mom? I'm trying to make, I'm, I'm trying to make a YouTube video. No, I don't want a sandwich. I do, but can you cut the crusts off? Okay, thank you. I mean, sorry about that. If you're really serious about YouTube, wait until you're like 15 or 16. I don't even think technically you can make an account on YouTube if you're less than 13. I will guarantee you that if you wait that long, you will start making them YouTube money. Number 10, sponsorships. Keep your endings brief. Now on that note, I would like to thank the sponsor of the day.